um, is push-ups. What did you say? Oh, yippee. I bet you didn't. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to give you some options to do with your push-ups. Um, so the good thing about the push-up exercise that we'll quite like is that the same exercise can be done um, different ways. So if you start with the arms nice and wide, it's the guys really like that one because it works the lats, it gives them the big muscles here. Uh, and if we take a little bit in, in a bit more, then we're going into the back. And eventually when the hands are more closer together, we work the front of the chest and of course the back of the arms. So the same exercise can be done in different ways. And um, it's one of these exercises you could do if you're going on holiday and you wanted a quick workout, do some plank and some push-ups, um, and you've pretty much worked all the muscles. Okay, so you can do um, your, pu your push-ups from your full plank position. Don't worry, I can't see any of you, so there's no competitions today, you don't have to show off. <laughs> So we can do it from this position. Do not do it from here like this. Look, the lower back. You can do it from here, or we can bring the knees onto the mat and do it like this. So this is like level one. It's called, it's called a box push-up position. Level two, you bring your feet off the mat with the weight more forwards. Level th and level three, then you would be coming up into your full plank position, but don't let the hips drop down. Okay, so rule number two, technique with your push-ups. Sorry to go on about this, but it's really, really important because I see I see it so much. I see people think, do you know what? I, I do push-ups and they don't do much for me. And, and I see them doing them like this. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't really feel anything. Like this. Okay, so the technique, I'll do it this way around so you can see. Obviously, as much as possible, you've got your head slightly further forward than your fingers. Here, because if you do if you do your push-ups like this, you know, it's like we're praying really. You're not really putting the, the weight through the arms and shoulders, which is the idea. Um, so you need, if possible, to have the head sort of about level with the end of the fingers, or even slightly further. Okay, so again, you can be push, full push-up. This one or this one, when you bend your elbows, make sure your head is there rather than here. But the position of the arms is important. As I said, if you do your push-ups like this, again, you're not, we're not really doing anything and you're putting the strain through the shoulders. So what you need to do is take the elbows slightly backwards and out to the side in, in a bit of a diamond shape. So you like that action, that's it. And then there's, again, there's no strain in the shoulders. This is all just health and safety, really. But um, sorry to go on about it, but I need to get you um, to understand the technique. Okay, so before we start, if you know what you're doing, go on, you can go ahead, do a few more. If you want to do hundreds and hundreds, it's up to you. So we can use our grips like this. Again, that will take the pressure off um, the wrists. So I want you to start nice and wide. So if the guys, if you want to work, you know, say your lats, we want the arms a little bit wider than shoulders. Be careful with the, if you're using the grips, make sure they're not half on and off the mat. So you want your arms nice and wide here. Turn the hands in slightly. That's it. And you'll probably feel these muscles working here. You can all give it a go if you want to. I'm just giving you different options. So we can do it from full push up. Make sure those elbows go back out to the side slightly. We can do it from, from this position or with the feet up like that. Okay, if you haven't got grips, um, as I said, uh, you could just get a cushion. This isn't really wide enough really, but if you, if you put your hands on the cushion or at the front of the cushion like that, it lessens the angle there and obviously makes it a little bit of a softer landing. So you might find by doing your push-ups like that, you're able to do them where you thought you couldn't before. And that, that's why having a really good mat is important. You'd be surprised what difference it makes because you could also roll the front of the mat up. This is a particularly thick mat. But look what happens to my, if I put my hands here, it's lessened the angle there. Quickly. 
and it makes the exercise much more comfortable, much more comfortable there. Um, yeah, I haven't really got, we can also do this with the band around the arms, but we won't do that today. Right, so the guys I've given you, I guess, the more challenging option if you want to. So you can also do your push-ups on the roller. Yes, so either on the carpet, on the mat. Be careful because it's quite challenging. I hope you're still doing your push-ups and starting off nice and wide and then bring it a little bit closer and then a bit closer. So continue with that and then we finish up with the hands almost together and we work the back of the arms. So experiment with that while I'm yabbering on. Okay, so with the roller, again, yeah, I find it takes a bit of pressure off the wrist, but anything you do with the roller makes you more unstable. Um, but what that means is it actually works more muscles, stabilizing muscles, more muscles. So it's very good for you. So again, you've got to make sure you're, you, you are stable here. You don't want to have any accidents, so make sure you know what you're doing. So if you could start off nice and wide, like this. Okay, and we could do we can do it from a full push-up position. As you can see, I, I, I'm a woman. I can't really do this particularly well. Thank goodness I'm a woman. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, and then whatever version you're doing, bring the hands in a little bit closer. Same thing. So you can do this on your knees. Heels up behind. Full push-up. Keep the head forward. Back nice and straight. Neutral spine position. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out as you push up. And then finally, I, I, I like to turn my hands in slightly. That works for me for the back of the arms. So we're here. Can you, can you see that position? Should I turn it around? So if you have the hands almost touching like that, that's for the back of your arms, obviously on the mat or on the roller. So again, from your box push-up position, make sure the elbows go out to the side, bring your feet up, a little bit more challenging, make sure the head is further forward than your fingers, or you might be able to do it uh, from our full push-up, down and up, don't let the hips drop down like that, you're lowering but keep everything level and you really will this, you will really find this work um, the back of the arms, okay, so keep going. So you've either got your other versions, you'll be doing it on your cushion if you want to. Different versions. Oh, or with the wrist grips. The wrist grips. I, I like to turn my grip grips in that way, the hands that way. So either on your knees, remember the elbows go out to the side. Keep the head forwards. Don't push the neck down. Lift the feet up. Or from your full push-up position. You probably find you guys you can go a bit lower um, than some of us women okay well done so i hope you feel like you've had a really good workout there with the upper body let me know how you get on with that <laughs> fantastic all right put that down um, and we're just going to do a little bit of a stretch with the back of the arms there so take the hand back behind you hand on the elbow stretch the hand back slide the hand down Good, and then the other one. Excellent, and all the way back there. Stretching. Great. Okay, turn around the other 